Hi everybody, I hope you're holding well. So thank you for joining me this afternoon. So today I woke up with a lot of anxieties, a lot of anxieties, like I get sweaty palms, I have that pit in my stomach, like that sunken feeling, uh, I'm feeling on the edge, I'm very irritable, I woke up very anxious, um, and I will talk about that in a bit. Uh, however, I've never gone to hospital and I've never been diagnosed with anxiety disorder, but I have my daily anxieties. There are situations and there are triggers that trigger me to anxiety that is what i want to talk about today so 264 million people around the world have anxiety disorder you're not alone it happens a lot it happens to a lot of people having anxiety is a typical response to stress you know it's like a, a, it's alerting you of danger or of a, situ, of a situation that's not a normal situation however when it exceeds like six months or when it um when it interferes with your normal activity then it becomes a problem then at that point probably when you go to hospital you might be diagnosed with anxiety disorder however how do you deal with the daily uh, anxieties that come with life and what are the triggers today i want to talk about the triggers for anxiety what triggers my anxiety and how i deal with it uh thank you for joining me my name is Mudoni mukiri kindly subscribe and thank you for tuning in The number one trigger for anxiety and the number one thing that I avoid most as someone who gets a lot of anxieties is caffeine. You guys, caffeine, you know caffeine? It's found in coffee, in tea, in, you know, cocoa, in... It's a stimulant. Caffeine is a stimulant. It's supposed to keep you alert or something to just... Uh, it makes you more alert. Avoid caffeine if you have anxieties because you realize when you have anxieties, you're very alert. You're very in the moment. Anything can trigger you. You know, you're on the edge. Please, if you have anxieties, avoid taking drinks that have caffeine because when you take a drink that has caffeine and then you're faced with high pressure situations, your anxieties rise, your anxieties become intense. And you know, nobody likes these anxieties are like little demons. They can take over your life like nobody's business. So uh, avoid drinks that have caffeine. There are also energy drinks. I don't want to mention them. I think almost all energy drinks, all of them have caffeine. I think mostly, I think all of them. Please read the, the manual, like uh, the ingredient, the contents of your drinks before you take them. If they have caffeine and you know you're prone to anxieties, don't take drinks with caffeine. Don't take coffee. Uh, Please read instructions, read contents of whatever you're taking. If it has got caffeine and you have anxieties, chances are your anxieties continue to be more and, and they are they become more intense. Another thing that can get you anxieties uh, or can uh, intensify uh, the, the anxieties you have is long-term illnesses. Uh, because you're in constant worry, what would happen? What will the doctor say? I'm at this and this level. You know, I would die. I would lose my children. Uh, anything is possible if you have a long-term illness or those depressing illnesses, probably like cancer. Most most people or most patients who have these long-term illnesses actually uh, are usually taking antidepressants or those stress medications. So if you have uh, uh, anxieties a lot or if they've intensified over time and you have a long-term illness that's probably one of the core reasons and you need to talk to your doctor about it however sometimes I believe knowledge is power and sometimes I want to know why I have these anxieties you understand sometimes you when you that mean you will do practically anything passive because if you have a long-term illness uh, you know you have it it's here you're trying maybe to cure it and to get to cure it and to get over it but it's good when you know what is bringing you the stress so that you can be able to talk to your doctor about it and so when you know knowledge is power when you informed you are at a better place than someone who doesn't know what's happening another thing that causes anxieties is medication if you are on medication if you're on some cough medication some weight loss medication so please find out the contents or the side effects of whatever medication you're under please find out if you're prone to having anxieties and you have medication that causes more anxiety 
you know they might be the anxiety might levels might be too uh, intensified by that medication so um another medication that causes uh, anxieties or that accelerates is birth control pills you guys i was like whoa so apparently people who don't use birth control pills get anxiety because you're constantly in worry of whether you've gotten pregnant or you know you know what i mean you're on the edge kind of and also taking birth control pills uh Birth control regulates our hormones and in turn interferes with our moods and our emotions and that puts you on the edge. You know how we say mood swings, you know, you're constantly on the edge. So please look, if you're taking the everyday pill, even forgetting it or uh, not taking it the time you're supposed to or uh, missing your period or those things, birth control pills affect your anxiety levels another one negative thinking i have been wanting to do an episode on negative thinking for a long time so probably i will do it one of these uh one of these days so uh whatever you feed your mind affects you big time what you say to yourself can trigger feelings of anxiety and this is what i understand between depression and anxiety depression is worrying about the past worrying about things that have already happened oh he used to beat me oh they chased me from home oh they were so mean to me they fired me you know that is depression you're depressed about things that have already happened well anxiety is a stress about things that have not happened things about the future Things that, you know, like we want to control everything. Hey, no, no, they can't. They will say this. It will happen like this. That is anxiety. And I get more anxious myself as Muthoni when I think about negative thoughts. For example, I call my fiancé or you call your husband. They don't pick up the phone. And then uh, it's nothing to worry about. And then you decide after an hour, you decide, let me call them again. They still don't answer your phone. Your mind starts racing too. He's probably cheating on me. He's probably got into an accident. He's probably not thinking about me. He's probably angry at me. When you start thinking about those negative thoughts, you become anxious. My anxieties are accelerated in a very huge way by the thoughts by my thoughts, by my negative thoughts. And you know, like I said, anxiety is worrying about things that have not happened. So when you think of, ah, I might get fired, my boss doesn't like me, he's probably angry, you start getting anxious. That is what happens to me. So I am looking for a book. I've, I've seen a lot of uh, interviews done to an author called Michael Stringer or something like that. I'm looking for a book called Unbothered. Someone really recommended it to me. And he talks about like uh, he says your your thoughts are like visitors you understand you're the person who's looking at your thoughts oh, it sounds psycho but yeah it makes sense to me i don't know if it will make sense to you so he says um he says you will experience constant thoughts of worry negative thoughts and those things the idea is not to get in them and start analyzing. You know how we want to analyze like one rice at a bit. You want to analyze everything. You, you're supposed to lean back and let the negative thoughts pass. Let them stir whatever and then pass. But as a CC, we want to engage inside the thoughts. Like why, why, what, what. You know. Uh, and sometimes you try not to think about them. And that's exactly what you think about. For example, I want you, you, I don't want you to think about a glass of water. Whatever you do at this point, do not think about a glass of water. Now, everything you can see is a glass of water. Because sometimes, because what we don't want to think about is what we think about. You know, sometimes you say, I don't want to think about that man. Trust me, that's the only thing you will be thinking about. So Michael Stringer says the, the thing about negative thoughts is leaning back and doing nothing about them. Just close your eyes. Just lean back like on a seat and just let the thoughts pass by. You are not your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. There is you and there is those thoughts. Because, you know, if, if you are your thoughts, then constantly you would be sad. You would be thinking negative things but those thoughts pass you don't realize even after anxiety you get back to your senses and then you are like okay what was i worried about this is another one that brings me stress financial stress and disorganization and this is why i woke up with anxiety today 
um if i don't plan my finances well if i have emotional stress uh it brings me anxiety like that <laughs> like constant worry and that sunken feeling in my stomach and sweaty palms and that heartbeat and restlessness and i don't even want to sit down i just want to stand you understand so i have learned to organize my finances ahead and i have learned to deal with my emotions so uh plan your finances well financial stress so when i have anxieties kama sasa i woke up with anxieties and feeling bad and i i i started analyzing and writing down why i would wake up with anxiety and i know i have been i have been doing so much lately like i'm all over doing everything and at some point i have to get a personal assistant so i organizing yourself is a good thing if you uh, always get anxiety uh and if you don't know why you get anxieties you need to find out i will talk about what to do also if you skip meals a lot like you on an empty stomach a lot and sometimes when you are faced with a stressful situation you need energy to process some of these things and if you mostly on a hungry stomach you don't have that energy and it brings you stress a uh, heartbeat sweat, sweaty palms those things so as much as you we are told uh, i am actually usually against the dry fasting have eat something you know uh people might want to fight me on this but uh maybe maybe even tea or a juice or something yeah if you have anxieties i don't think you should go hungry like totally hungry even if it's dry fasting in church or you're doing the um, is it intermittent fasting uh, yeah i don't i think that's it so don't go extremely don't be extremely hungry me personally when i'm hungry i cannot function i'm very irritable i'm on the edge i i don't it's like i'm i'm a, i'm a con completely different person so imagine if i have a i'm in a high pressure situation i haven't and i haven't eaten chaos what you need to do now you know your triggers you need to journal you need to know what triggered your last anxiety attack Like now I know what triggered it today like I've told you I'm doing everything I need I'm doing social media I'm doing YouTube I have a business I have meetings I have other things side hustles I have I am doing everything like I need at some point I need to relax to breathe in breathe out and I need to be organized and I know my my stress is financial emotional organization business like I'm I'm doing everything and I can't so everything is just like this I start sweating I'm like so how do I handle this this other one is calling me So I know I need to get a personal assistant and I need I know I need to organize myself and I need to relax. So I know next time so for today I've already journaled I know I, I was anxious because of that. So the other time I can tell why I was anxious maybe I was too hungry. Maybe I had taken a lot of uh, energy drink maybe a, a lot of red bull and something or something like that. Journal why you are anxious like a write down. If even if you want write just note it somewhere even in your phone. what caused your anxiety attack is it stress at work is it emotional stress is it that uh, uh, is it medication you're taking do you have a long term illness that's stressing you please have so that you can avoid repeating the same you know so when you know you know some some of these things you cannot really do away with but to kisha me I, as long as i know also this is so important this is so important if your anxieties are getting in your way if you cannot function normally if you are in constant a uh, state of fear and worrying and crying and depressed and shaking and your heartbeat is all over the place please seek help seek professional help go to the hospital or see a therapist or a counselor seek help and it's so important and i always say it the best investment i ever made for myself is seeing a therapist at my lowest moment i've never gone to see a therapist uh, uh, because of my anxiety anxieties because they're not as serious they happen like once a year or once in six months and i'm able to to look back and see what i can do differently next time you know so see a therapist another one be patient with yourself be patient with yourself no one has it all figured out no one has their finances all figured out no one has their health all figured out no one has their everything in check everything is doing what they got to do so take one step at a time be patient also anxiety is a normal human feeling 
you know, it's a typical reaction and I say to stressful situation or to not everyday situation. However, if it gets out of hand, if you're getting uh, personal attacks, if it's, 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 it's affecting your family, it's affecting your relationships, it's affecting your everything, seek help. People are trained to help us deal with these things. Don't die alone. Don't stress alone. Talk to someone. So that's all for today. I wanted to talk about my triggers. Uh, for people who've had panic attacks, for people who've really gone for, to therapists and, you know, if you've gone to seek help, how was it like for you? And what? how do you really deal with your anxieties uh, in terms of day-to-day -day, um, life? What do you do to avoid it? When you're getting that attack or when you hear you anxious, what's the first thing you do? So I'd like to hear that from you. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Mudoni Mukiri. To button echo comment section, guys, please leave your feedback i enjoy looking at your comments and i want to interact with you and i also this is the most important part why you should leave your comment because i want to learn from you we all have different experiences we all go do we all go through different things in life and i want to learn from you every everyone have something important everyone has something to give and i want to take from you also so bye bye